Hi guys and welcome to 123 My IT's tutorial on how to install Windows 8 on your Mac. Okay guys, so there's a few things we need to know about, um, about how to install Windows 8 on your Mac. Um, it's done via a, uh, a program called Bootcamp or a bit of software called Bootcamp which comes with uh, the Mac OS X. Um, if you don't have it on your machine you can actually download it. I'll show you where you can find it if you go to Go and then Utilities, and then you've got your Boot Camp Assistant here, and we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at that in a sec. But I just wanted to show you something else. Um, if, if you don't have it on your machine, you can actually find the, the link from my website. So go to 123myit in Google. All right. And if you scroll down, you'll see 123myit, your complete IT help portal. That's it there. Second to load. Okay, and then uh, on my site here, it's got a whole heap of the tutorials that I do. Um, uh, but what you can do is you can just go into the search menu at the top, type in boot camp, and then hit enter. All right, scroll down, and then you've got this one here general boot camp questions about installing Windows 8 on a Mac. If you click on that one, Okay, we scroll down again, and there's a whole heap of questions. The main questions that I do get is, is what type of uh, Macs uh, support Windows 8? So you can actually see these are all the, all the, um, the, the models that support Windows 8. Um, you can still install uh, Windows 8 on, on, on older machines, but the, the dri there's no driver support for it. So the driver support is, is the Windows support software, which is basically a set of drivers which is um, uh, made for the Apple, uh, made for the Apple hardware so that you can run the Windows uh, software on Apple hardware. All right, if that makes sense. Um, so, but yeah, definitely have a, have a look around at this site. Have a look at, um, there's some other great tutorials here as well. One more thing that I should mention here, if you wanna get the, if you wanna either download Bootcamp four or five, you can find this page, just click here, uh, and it goes to my downloads section up the top. You can just click downloads here as well. And at the very top there, Boot Camp Apple, uh, Direct Apple Downloads. So you can click on um, either version five or version four, and this is just a direct link to the, the Apple site. Okay, all right guys, so thanks for watching that. Um, now we'll show you how to Run the bootcamp now. Bootcamp you can you can find it in Finder by going up here and typing in Bootcamp Assistant, or you can just go to Go, and then Utilities, and here it is here. So I'm going to run that one now. Okay, all right. So it says Bootcamp Assistant helps install Microsoft Windows on an Intel-based Mac by downloading the necessary support software, and creating a partition on your disk for Windows and then starting the Windows installer. Okay, so let's hit continue here. All right, now it says download the, the latest Windows support software from Apple, which I'm going to do. So I'm gonna pop in a, a USB key in a minute and I'll show you how to do that. And then seven, uh, you can also install Windows 7. Now it says Windows 7, um, but the, the CD that I have uh, also has um, uh, Windows 8 Pro. Um, so we're going to install Windows 8. The other thing I just actually want to show you guys or tell you guys about as well. Let me just go back. Uh, really quick, back to the bootcamp page. If we go back to here, um, it also mentions in, in here as well about um, uh, the two different versions of, of Windows 8. So you'll have a 64-bit version and you'll also have a 32-bit version, okay? So if you're on the older Macs, um, both Bootcamp 4 and Bootcamp 5 will support 32-bit, um, but only Bootcamp 5 will support 64-bit uh, Windows 8 professional, okay? So just so you know that as well. So if you pop the CD in, and it says, you know, disk not valid or something like that, then you know that you've got, you're either got the wrong version of, um, you're either got a 64-bit version or you've got a 
or a, or a, or a 32-bit version, which um, doesn't work. So, so most of the latest Macs will support the 64-bit version only, not the 32-bit version. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way, we'll go in here and we'll click Continue. All right. At this point, we want to save a copy of the drivers to an external drive. Okay, and I'll just pop in my drive there, and then I'll hit Continue. Okay, Windows support software, and we want to pop it on on the no-name device, which is just a USB device. Click Save. Alrighty, and now what it's going to do is it's actually going to download this support software and uh, save it to the USB key that I just put in the machine. All right, so while that's happening, I might just uh, stop the stop the um, video, and I'll start it back up once this gets a bit further. Saving right, the Windows support software now, and it's actually saving all that software that it downloaded to the USB stick. All right, what's the password there? There's the password. Okay. So at this stage, guys, um, basically what you want to try and do is divide equally the um, uh, the partition. So what it's going to do is it's um, Windows 8 usually takes, or, or Windows in general usually, they usually started off with a with a partition of 20 gigabytes. Um, I think for Windows 8, you probably need a bit more, like 40 gigabytes. Um, however. Considering this is quite a large disk that we've got in the machine, you just go divide equally. And if you're going to be using both operating systems uh, equally as much, just hit divide equally. That way you give yourself 125 gig and 124 on the other one on your OS X drive, and that will give you loads of um, loads of space on each side. So at this stage, uh, you pop in your your Windows 8 CD. All right. And then you go install. Now what it will do, it will partition the disk, okay, and then it will go through and it will uh, install the CD or install Windows. Okay, so it's partitioning, partitioning disk there. Okay, so it's just restarting. Okay, so it's just restarting now. You can see the Windows logo there. It's going to come up and start to install the Windows. Okay, and then you have your normal Windows screen that you have. So select your time and currency format. And then next, install now. Set up a starting. All right. Accept the terms and agreements, and then next. Okay. We just want to. You can upgrade the install. Or we just want to do a custom install, and we want to put it on this boot camp partition. So you want to click on. Drive options advanced, delete it, click OK, then go back to the unallocated space, click on it again, and then click Next. Uh, actually, click on New first, click Apply, so you have to set the uh, partition, and then click Next. Alright, and then it will go through and it will install Windows. Okay, so they're getting files ready for installation. Is that 99% now? Uh, and it looks like it's about to go through 100%. Installing features is finished. Just up to installing updates now. Finished. Alright, restart now, so we'll restart that. Okay, so there's the Windows logo again. It's 
just restarting, booting into Windows 8. Getting devices ready. Looks like it's going to do another reboot. Put in your name there, so we're going to call it one two three my it. If it will let us, yep. Uh, on this screen, you can set up your wireless. So we'll just go uh, connect to wireless later. Express settings, just go use Express settings, or you can customise that if you want to. Sign into your PC, you can use your email address to sign in there, or you can just go sign in without a Microsoft account if it's just on a desktop machine. Okay, and then you can just go local account because you want to log in locally, and we'll just call it 123 my IT, and just go finish. And it's just finalising your settings. getting your PC ready. This will take a few minutes. Let's start. Okay. Alright, guys, and there you have it. So, that's essentially how you install it. There's a few things that you might want to check. First of all, you might want to just check that your buttons work your sound buttons and your brightness buttons on your. As you can see, nothing's happening there. So, if that's the case, what you need to do is go back to your desktop, open Explorer, go into computer, go into your pen drive, go into the Windows support software that we downloaded and run this setup file. Okay. So what does this do? The setup file will actually install all the drivers and things for your Windows, for your for your Mac hardware to work with Windows. Okay. So if you click on that it says bootcamp, welcome to the bootcamp installer. Uh, you will be guided through the steps necessary to install bootcamp. To get started, click next. Okay, so click next. Uh, accept the terms and agreements. Next. Um, Apple software update for Windows. Leave that checked if you want, and then just go install. All right, and this will actually go through and it will set up all your hardware um, to work with Windows 8. All right and it's pretty vital that you have this installed. You may also want to run this when you're connected to your Wi-Fi or connected to your, your network and then you can actually download the latest copy of this but um, for now it's actually running there and you can see that it's, 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 it's copying everything from the... well you can't see on the screen so much. Um, oh, actually you can. So this is installing the NVIDIA driver now. So That's a, a driver for your graphics card Um, and even on if you have a look here, you've even got a boot camp installation and setup guide that comes in that Windows support um, folder. 
Okay, guys. Um, and the next thing that I, I have to show you guys is, um, which is also important, let's say you wanted to uh, boot back into OS X because um, you can actually switch between the two operating systems. You can switch between OS X and Windows. What you need to do is you need to, uh, when you close down Windows, so if you go into your charms menu, you go into settings, and then power, all right, and shut down, all right. Uh, actually, if you click on restart, when you restart your machine to boot back into OS X, or Mountain Lion or, or Lion or whatever you have in, whatever OS X version you have installed you need to hold down the ALT option key on your Mac okay hold that down and then when you restart when you click restart here keep holding it down and then it will actually restart um, back into uh, two drives and you'll be able to select your OS X partition and, and boot back into that alright so I'm just going to go cancel on this boot camp for a sec we can install that at a later stage. Alright, finish and come back and install that. I'll just show you real quick how to boot back into OS X when you're done. So you hold down your Alt Option key. Um, oops. Come on. Settings, power, restart. Okay, so it's going to restart now. Just move the camera and I'll show you what button I'm holding down. Okay, when you hear the charm, I'll try and get that camera back on there now. Hope it's not too crooked. Alrighty, now you've got these drives here, you've got a recovery HD, you've got Windows, which is Windows 8, it's what we just installed, and you've got your Mac HD, so if you want to get back into Windows, select Mac HD, uh, and there's actually the CD, the Windows 8 CD's just popped up, it's just been booted, but we want to go back into the Mac OS X, we're going to hit that one. Okay guys, and there it is. So I'm Mac OS X. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a, th a thumbs up and feedback on the website. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a line on on my website under contact. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.